Hey, welcome back to the channel, and thanks for dropping in to check out this video. Today, we're going to take a look at another villain rumored to be in Spider-Man No Way Home. And just a quick reminder about the weekly giveaway we do here at the channel. This week's is a Venom Funko Pop. It's real easy to be entered to win. Just subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on the video, and you're entered. Let's jump into it and find out who is the lizard. Curtis Connors grew up in Florida and attended medical school after high school. He graduated with a doctorate in biology and biochemistry. While he was in medical school, he met Martha and the two eventually married. They then had a son, Billy. Curtis became an excellent surgeon. He ended up joining the U.S. Army and served as a surgeon during combat operations. He was wounded in an explosion that led to his right arm having to be amputated. With him no longer able to perform surgery anymore, he returned home to Florida. Curtis theorized that if a lot of reptiles were able to regrow limbs they lost, he could figure out what in their DNA caused this and apply it to humans. He began studying DNA manipulation and soon after engineered a formula that appeared to work. A number of his lab specimens regrew their lost limbs. In a bold move, Curtis decided to test the formula on himself and downed it. In no time at all, he regrew his right arm, but the process didn't stop there. The reptilian DNA in the formula turned him into a seven-foot-tall lizard. As the lizard, he gained an assortment of superhuman abilities associated with reptiles, but his mind became almost primitive. The lizard has superhuman strength, speed, and reflexes. He can leap about 12 feet high and climb walls like a lizard. His skin is similar to an alligator's, granting him enhanced vulnerability. He has a six-foot tail, which he can use as a weapon, and a telepathic link to any reptile within a one-mile radius, allowing him to control them. Curtis was freaked out by the transformation and fled into the swamps. Rumors of a lizard man living in the swamps of Florida spread across the country. When J. Jonah Jameson got wind of it, he publicly challenged Spider-Man to take down the lizard. Peter Parker, under the cover of getting pictures of the lizard, traveled to Florida. As Spider-Man, he ran across Martha, the wife of Dr. Connors. She let Spider-Man in on the secret that the lizard was actually Curtis Connors and explained how it happened. Spider-Man used Dr. Connors' notes and his scientific knowledge to come up with a cure for Curtis. As Spider-Man and the lizard battled, he dumped the formula into the lizard's mouth and got him to ingest it. Dr. Connors was returned to his human form, but lost the regenerated arm. This was the beginning of a long friendship between Connors and Spider-Man and a Jekyll and Hyde-like struggle for Dr. Connors. There were numerous times Spider-Man had to turn to Dr. Connors for help and vice versa. When Peter donated his blood for an infusion for Aunt May, his radioactive blood left her dying. Dr. Connors came up with a cure to help Spider-Man save her. When Spider-Man was unable to take the rhino down due to his impenetrable hide, Dr. Connors was once again clutch and came up with a solution that would weaken his hide. Unfortunately, the mere handling of the chemicals to make the solution ended up triggering the doctor to once again transform into the lizard. This time, Spider-Man was able to trap the lizard in a refrigerated train car and then administer the antidote. The transformations began to occur more often, triggered by a variety of reasons. When Spider-Man ended up with six arms while trying to get rid of his spider powers, Dr. Collins was able to create a cure using an enzyme from Morbius to cure Spider-Man. During the Secret Wars, Lizard was one of the villains transported to Battleworld. After returning from Battleworld, his wife couldn't handle the stress of the transformations and left with their son Billy. For a short time period, Connor's consciousness was able to keep control in Lizard form. The Lizard and Spider-Man battled the Owl together as allies. His control didn't last for long, as Calypso was able to take control of the lizard with her voodoo. The lizard was reduced to a savage state and used by Calypso. Spider-Man defeated Calypso and the lizard in battle, and it was assumed the lizard was dead. The lizard later re-emerged on a quest to cure himself permanently. He cured himself, but once again it proved only to be temporary. While in his human form, Dr. Connors turned himself in to be locked away in the superhuman prison, the Vault. Calypso broke into the Vault, attempting to take control of the Lizard again. She forced Connors to transform into the Lizard, who killed Calypso and escaped. The Lizard was hunted down by Spider-Man and Warrant, a bounty hunter. 
They battled, and the lizard fell into a pit of quicksand. Spider-Man tried to save him, but Warrant interfered and prevented it, sending the lizard to his apparent death. But it's the comics, and the lizard does return. So what do you think? Will we see the lizard in Spider-Man No Way Home? Will he be a member of the rumored Sinister Six? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll holler again soon. Peace.